am here today to do my buying book haul, the books that I bought um, at BookCon. I try not to buy books when I go to conventions, but it's really, really hard because sometimes you get really good deals. So this haul will include all the books that I bought from BookCon, um, all the bookish things I bought, which was very, very few this year, um, and also the books that I got at a book signing and Barnes & Noble. So this is kind of like a combined book haul, but I just wanted to do it all together. And then I will do my book con freebie book haul, which is kind of massive. Um, and then I'm going to do another video talking about my experience at book con, and I will do all of these also on my blog. Um, so the first two books, one of the one of the booths was doing like a buy two for ten deal. So I picked up Spelled by Be by Betsy Shaw, which is a um, which is like a fractured fairy tale or a fairy tale with like a twist. Um, and I really always love this cover. I think it's like so pretty. Um, so yeah, I just really wanted to buy it. Um, and I'm hopefully I'll get to read it soon. Um, and then the next one along in the same vein, part of the same deal was The Readers of the Broken Wheel Recommend, a novel by Katrina Billivard. Um, and this um, is Sarah who... Um, who travels all the way to Sweden to meet her pen pal, but her pen pal unexpectedly dies. Um, and she, there is nothing to do in this town. Um, and it's almost beyond repair. Um, but she, unfortunately, she ultimately decides to open up a bookstore to transform this town. And a lot of things occur. So I'm really excited to read this. As a reader, I love books that involve bookstores. And when the person was describing this book to me, I was like, you have sold me. Um, another solving thing is that this, um, it's called Renegade Red, um, by Laura Bird Howard. I actually met her and she was there and they were having a deal. If you buy the, if you buy book one and book two, it was like $12. They didn't have, they sold out of book one, like in the booth, but they're going to send it to me through Amazon Prime. Um, so the next book, the second book is called Renegade Red. This cover is like stunning. Um, and it's like a paranormal it's like a paranormal um, mystery story so I'm really excited to read that and the cover is just stunning the girl who actually did the covers like she was there too so I thought that was really really cool uh, and then the way that BookCon works I'll talk about this a little bit in my video uh, in a little bit bit but you had autograph signings where if you wanted to get authors who were not doing in booth signings you had to buy their books so I did that for two people um, I did that for Cora Carmack Roar which is um, her venture into YA fantasy um, and this cover is so pretty. And I got to meet her, and it was great. My friend Justin also met Rainbow Ryle, but ultimately had her book. So he gifted me Carry On. Um, I have not read this yet, but it has been on my TBR list for so long. This cover is so pretty, too. So hopefully I'll get to read it. And then the book that I got myself at the signing was by Holly Black, The Coldest Girl in Cool Town by Holly Black. She signed it. She was amazing. Um, I cannot wait to wait to read Cool Cruel Prince. It comes out, I think, in January. Um, so they're all the books that I bought at BookCon. Again, I try very, very hard not to buy books at BookCon, but they were such good deals. So yeah, those are all the books that I bought at BookCon. At BookCon, it was like next to impossible to see all the authors that you wanted. So after BookCon, there was a book signing for a bunch of contemporary authors. Um, and I hopefully I'm gonna read a lot of contemporary this summer. And the book signing was for Sarah Dessen, Jenny Hahn and Jennifer E. Smith. So I picked up a bunch of books from them. Um, and the books were Keeping the Moon, which is just a, just, um, a really cute contemporary. Um, it's also really short, and I wanted to get a couple assigned by her because she really doesn't tour that often, um, like at all. And I have I bought a bunch of her books after because they were like $1.99 on your Kindle. If you really want to get stock up on some Sarah Dustin for the summer, I would go look on Amazon because her books, some of her books are $1.99. Um, I also picked up her new release, which is Once and For All, which is for what the tour was for. And this is a YA contemporary that has to do with wedding planning as a backdrop. And I love concept novels like that. I think that they're, like, so cool. So I'm really excited to read this and hopefully soon. Um, and I also finally picked up, I picked this up a couple of weeks ago, but it was for the signing because I knew I was going to meet Jennifer, um, Jenny Han. So I picked up to all the boys I loved before. And this is actually going to be one of my next reads because I am so excited to finally start this series. I've heard so many good things about it, so I'm hopefully going to get to start it soon. Um, and then the other book I picked up was um, Winterfall by Jennifer E. Smith. And this is a book about a girl who she winds up buying her best friend a lottery ticket, and they wind up striking the big jackpot. And 
there are some pitfalls to being a millionaire and there are some positives and that's what this book explores so I got all those books signed by the authors and they were really really great it was also Sarah Dustin's birthday so we had cake I'll try to put the pictures on my blog and I'll, I'll link that below um and also I was going to Barnes and Noble because I had a coupon and I had to find something to use it on um and I brought I met Brandon Mull at Bacon and he told me that there was a new book in the Dragon in the Fable Haven series so I picked up Dragon Watch I read all the other ones they were super cute if you have a middle grade kid and they're looking for a new action adventure series I highly recommend Brandon Mull but this is this the fourth or fifth installment in the Dragon in the Fable Haven series called Dragon Watch um and also I have been uh, I admiring this shirt for about two and a half years um but I love this quote when in doubt go to the library by Hermione Granger so I finally got it from out of print and they were there and I was like you know what I'm finally buying it it was for cheap it wasn't too expensive so the rules are all the books or bookish related things that I got at BookCon that I um paid for my next haul will be about um all the things I got for free and then I will do a wrap-up review about my just experience back on and my, you know, thoughts and suggestions. Um, but yeah, as always, link, follow all my links below, especially if you guys follow my book, my Laura's Bookish Corner. If I get like 50 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway on there. Um, so yeah, so definitely do that. Um, and I'll be back with more videos in a couple, in a bit. I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.